today's quick riff lesson is on the Intro to Fortunate Sun by Credence Clearwater Revival. Uh, this one, uh, there's a slight complication with this, it's in what's called D standard tuning. Now this is, if you don't already know, this is where every string of the guitar is tuned down a full step, which is the, a tone the equivalent to two frets. Meaning that if I was in that tuning and I played this note, the sound you would hear would be this. So the demo that you've just seen, I played on my other guitar and I had that tuned down into D standard. But for the purpose of the lesson, I thought it would be easier just to show you this in standard tuning. So um, it's exactly the same riff, it will sound the same, it will just be a higher version. If you want to play along with the song accurately doing it, because this is an accurate transcription, I think, of, of the riff. If you want to play along with it exactly like this, then you need to tune your guitar down. Okay, now there are other ways you could play these notes in standard tuning so that they sound in tune with the song, but it won't be exactly the way that it sounds like he played it originally, but it would fit. Anyway, so let's get into it. So, quite easy, start off like this, playing the third string, and we're sliding in to this note here, which is a six, which is a C sharp, on the third string with the second finger. So when I say slide in, I mean that you pick the, you, you slide your finger along like this, but you pick the string whilst sliding. So what you hear is this note with the effect of the slide into it like this. So you don't hear a starting point. It's not like this. Or you just hear it slide into it. I'll take a bit of practice. Once you're there, you keep that note ringing Put the first finger on the first string, fifth fret, and pick that note so that you end up with two strings ringing together like this. And that's quite a common sort of shape that's used a lot in, especially kind of soul and Motown and stuff like that. You hear, you hear that kind of phrase a lot. So that's the first part. And then we do the same thing but instead of here, which is six and five, we do the same thing, but two frets lower, four and three. Okay, that's the first part. And then the next part, same strings, we're using the third string again, open, and we hammer on with second finger to second fret. So the hammer on means you pick the string once, but you hear two notes. And whilst that finger's on there and that note is ringing, you then add the third finger onto the first string, second fret, and play that. So that's. And then a very similar thing next. Same part here on the third string, open hammer onto two. But then instead of putting your third finger on here, we just play the first string open, like this. So I'll put all four together, slowly. That's nearly the whole riff, there's just one little bit on the end where we play third fret on the fifth string. Now if I've just done this, I've probably been inclined to use my third finger for that note because this one's just been used here, but it doesn't really matter. So you play that note, very very slightly bend it downwards, only a little bit. So you just pull the string down slightly and then play the open A. So that's fifth string, third fret, pull it down a bit, and then play the open. So now I'll play the whole thing. That's the whole thing. Just one little thing to mention though. He then repeats it, because he does it, does it twice at the beginning of the song. And a really nice thing that he does is after that, that last part where he played the open A, the three, and then the open A, that open A rings whilst he plays the riff again. So that means the second riff, the repeat, is slightly different sounding to the first one because the second one has got this ringing. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate that slowly from the beginning and have a listen out for that on the repeat, you'll hear this note. And 
goes into the vocal and into the chords for the song. Uh, that's it, that's the whole riff. So it's quite a simple one, this one, but like a lot of Creedence stuff, it's a brilliant song and it's, it's, it's a really nice riff to play. It's just a shame about the tuning, so you've got to tune down. Um, if you'd like to see another video on, on how to play this, this riff in standard tuning so that it does fit with the song, then just let me know and I'll maybe do that. If a few people comment, then I'll, I'll do one of those as well. But I think this is accurate to the song. This is what he did in the lower tuning. Okay, hope that, that works out right for you. And if it does, then please click like and subscribe if you haven't already and suggest any other songs you want to see riffs on or riff lessons on. Okay, thanks. Bye.